It was in time left that Tommy invented the cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> if he had invented, he certainly perfected the use of it. You know, Tommy, we're playing golf and he's got Barry Crow on one phone and George Walker on the other phone. And I get a little irritated because I'm trying to play golf and he's talking. And then my phone rings. Yeah, somebody loves me. So I pick it up and hello, is Tommy there? <laughs> And he asked Catherine to marry him. And she said yes, and that's the best job that Tommy May has ever done. <laughs> so he went down to the jewelry store and he started picking, looking at rings and he said, this, this really is a nice one. Kind of really small. <laughs> and so he called Jeannie and said, Jeannie, that's my wife, Jeannie. The genie said, I look, I'm, I'm at Sissy's log cabin and I'm about to buy this ring. What do you think about it? And she said, Well, how big is it? He said, Well, it's so and so. I won't tell you, it's embarrassing. No. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Jeannie said, Tommy, you've got to get a bigger diamond than that. And she said, Do you know how much these diamonds cost? <laughs> Thanking him for letting me play on the Simmons Bank and golf team. <laughs> he told me to race back golf tournaments. It was just it was a thrill just to watch Tommy harass Robert Deal. <laughs> Since about the age of seven, I've been relatively certain that Dad wouldn't stop working until forcibly removed by stretcher or straightjacket. Sure, there were times when we may have wished he were home more, but I'll bet they pale in comparison to the times many of you wished he were home more. <laughs> on dad's career, we're reminded that he has accomplished a great deal and achieved success in many ways, but we've learned more about him through his challenges. Perhaps the biggest thing we learned is that he is not beholden to or defined by those challenges. He is bigger than that. Dad, we admire your successes and accomplishments, but are most proud of the person you are, which isn't something from which you will retire. Tommy May is one of the most decent, genuine, capable caring, humble, and courageous human beings that we have ever known. And I sincerely believe in every way that Tommy represents the best of what Christianity is all about. A salute to you, Tommy. What a fine man. What a fine leader. What a fine friend and colleague. To, to us, Tommy is an exquisite example of being a high-value member of an organization's board of directors. I value. I honestly believe that God's greatest gift to us on this earth are the people we get to travel this journey with. And I and you are fortunate that we've been able to travel it with time and time. Shadow box there uh, on the right, uh, on your left, um, that contains your uh, pageant. And don't do that to me now. <laughs> <laughs> and your ribbons, and your dog tags. Somebody asked me what it was like to be the chairman and CEO retiring with only a few days left. Adam Robinson, I told him it's like being the president of the cemetery. <laughs> There's a lot of people below you, but nobody listens. <laughs> All of you, for being out on this night, you honor me. This was wonderful.